So if you're using your hand tech software here guys, your uh, laptop based or DSO uh, scope, um, somebody asked me how you actually use the measure function, how you get parameters to display on the screen. Um, so once you have your basic waveform actually established, you can use um, what's called either the measure function, in which case you can select a source so again, it's measure here, guys. You can select the source, basically whatever channel you want to reference. And you can select vertical, horizontal, or if you have them established in order to get rid of all the measurements on screen, you can select clear measure. So for vertical, for example, you can select any of these parameters for display. So let's just, let's just take something uh, basic like uh, maximum, just for the sake of demonstration purposes. And then on screen, it will actually display the maximum amplitude of this particular trace that we have on screen. So as I said, there is a number of different um, parameters that you can actually select. And you can do so in vertical or horizontal. So in the horizontal mode, for example, let's select, uh, sorry here, I'm trying to look at this through the, through the viewfinder here, guys. Measure uh, horizontal frequency, for example. And then you can have so you can have a bit more data on screen. It makes a bit more sense. There's a bit more information there, guys, right? To me, a major knock on the hand tech layout. And I like the hand tech layout. It's nice and simple. I like it. But for God's sake, why didn't they put the voltage on the X, on the uh, Y axis on the on the left-hand side? Or, or the right-hand side, for that matter, if you have multiple channels that not having the vertical the uh, the vertical reference with respect to the amplitude or the voltage means you have to look at what scaling you're actually on, which is in fact split there and there to two separate places, but you have to do the math with respect to the graticule. This does it automatically for you. Quick, easy check, right? Another way of actually doing it is uh, you can go to the cursor function and this allows you a little bit more specific detail with respect to what points on the, uh, on the trace you want to consider. So let's go to, uh, I guess again, just select your, your source uh, type. Um, let's select none would be none, not used at all, obviously, guys. Cross gives you both the facility for a vertical and horizontal reference. So I'll just select those two points that will give us the peak to peak and the, uh, the, uh, the frequency. So there's the frequency displayed which closely matches our frequency. Of course, this is gonna be a function of how accurately you place, you place your, your vertical and horizontal cursors here, guys. Um, so yeah, frequency, um, the, the delta T between the vertical cursors and the, uh, the delta V, if you will, uh, between the two horizontal uh, cursors. So you can also take that and split it out if you prefer. The cursor, you can select it for just a uh, uh, trace, is a wee bit weird. Uh, gives you this option, and what it does is it will automatically <clears throat> it's a vertical trace, but it will automatically pick any point on the uh, on the trace that you actually have on screen and display that instantaneous value there. Uh, I hope you get what I mean by that. So that. That's a wee bit odd, that that mode, I think, but might be usable in certain instances. Um, again, you can split it out for vertical. If you're interested only in a, a delta a T, for example, between two points on your trace, we'll give you that value. There's the time or a delta V, a differential voltage, I suppose, if you wanted to consider that. Horizontal, uh, sorry, I meant measure there. It should be in cursor type, horizontal. And then again, as I said, you just wherever you want to put your cursors with respect to uh, horizontal references in that instances. And there's the delta V between the two. So that's the uh, measure and cursor function on the hand tech guys. That you see guys using the hand tech on YouTube from time to time, although less and less, uh, but they're still out there. If you use, use those couple of functions, those utilities, it ups the utility of the little scope that much more. And to me, they're very handy indeed. Right, that's it boys, I hope that made some sense. Cheers.